Hello friends and welcome to another video from my series Quick Thoughts On, in which I always talk about different stories from the rich Star Trek universe. 30 years and a bunch of weeks ago the next episode of Star Trek The Next Generation premiered. It was called The Measure of a Man and these are my honest opinions about it. This is the first episode written by Melinda Snodgrass, a former lawyer turned novelist, turned television writer, later turned script supervisor. She is a fan of the original series, including the courtroom episodes like Court Marshall. She used to be a lawyer, but soon started to write novels. When Star Trek The Next Generation premiered, she wanted to get on staff and start writing scripts for this show, but was too afraid to actually do something about it. After being encouraged by her friend, George R. R. Martin from the Game of Thrones fame, she wrote a spec script and sent it to Paramount. When Maurice Harley, in that time the showrunner of Star Trek The Next Generation, called her to his office, she started to pitch another story ideas, but was very surprised that Harley not only immediately bought her spec script, he also hired her as a writer and later turned her into the script supervisor. So, is this spec script of hers any good? Well, it's actually considered to be one of the finest episodes in the whole franchise. Not bad for a first TV script she ever wrote, right? The story starts with a game of poker, and it immediately starts a new tradition for the show, a tradition which became so popular that even the final story of the next generation ends with a game of poker. Data thinks that he knows everything about the rules, but he still loses to Riker, who simply bluffs. Back on the starbase, Captain Picard meets his old girlfriend, Captain Philippa Louvois, who is now the new Jack officer for this sector. Their conversation, which is something between flirting and arguing, is suddenly interrupted by Admiral Nakamura and Commander Bruce Maddox, the villain of this episode. And I have to address the issue right now. This episode has two versions available on the Blu-ray set. Or technically free. The first version is the standard version, which you could see on TV many times during the last couple of decades. The second version of the episode is an extended, one hour long version, fully restored, all previously deleted scenes have been rescanned from uh, the original negatives, new visual effects have been created and the music has been reused cleverly to help to better integrate the new scenes. This version has been created based on a videotape owned by Snodgrass herself, which contained an earlier version of the episode. The third version, also available on the Blu-ray, is a hybrid version which basically combines HD footage from the normal version of the episode with VHS footage from the previously mentioned videotape. I highly, and I mean highly, recommend watching the extended version. Everybody, even Maddox, is much more developed in the longer cut. This is actually the first time I have watched the standard version in a long time, and it felt really incomplete. Soon, however, they find out that Nakamura and Maddox are not there for a simple visit. Maddox wants to disassemble Data. He was one of the members of the committee which was deciding if Starfleet should accept Data's application or not, and Maddox was the only person who was against it. He wants to replicate Dr. Sung's work and create several new androids, which means he first has to dismantle our Mr. Data to find out how exactly he works. Picard, Riker and Data are shocked and don't want to have anything to do with it. They think that he doesn't know what he's doing, but Maddox has an ace up his sleeve. He pulls out his order for Data's transfer. Because they don't want to allow Data to undergo the procedure himself, he will simply transfer him under his command and give him a direct order to undergo it. Picard first tries to discuss it with Data, 
but he agrees that Data is a victim of open discrimination. They behave to him like this only because he's not a human. The captain goes to Philippa for legal advice and she suggests that Data, as every other officer, should simply resign and leave Starfleet. So we get a bunch of emotional scenes where Data says goodbye to everybody from his friends, but the second part of the story begins. Maddox demands that Philippe Louvois uh, uses her legal authority to prevent Data from leaving Starfleet. She checks existing laws and decides that, based on some 21st century law, Data is Starfleet's property and therefore he can't make the decision to leave. Picard detects this decision and therefore a hearing is started. Captain Picard will be defending Data and Commander Riker goes to be the prosecutor, even though he doesn't like the idea. The vast majority of the second half of the episode is very heavy on dialogue, therefore it's pretty hard for me to describe uh, what's going on without playing you the actual episode, but I'll do my best. Riker makes a good show, he proves that Data is just a machine, he even pulls his arm out and even manages to turn him off. Picard doesn't really know what to do, I mean even Data himself says that he's just a machine. But then he has a wonderful scene with Guinan, the bartender played by Whoopi Goldberg. She had a great point. If you create so many androids, will they not become a brand new race? And if you use them for hard work and treat them as disposable creatures? How is it different from slavery? That was the kick that Picard needed. He later in the courtroom brings exactly this point. After showing that Data actually might be a sentient creature and that he had sex with Tasha Yar back in season 1. So thankfully for us, Philippa Louvois makes the desired decision. Data is a machine, but he has the right to decide what will happen to him, including uh, the right to decide if he will resign or not. So of course he decides that he doesn't want to undergo the procedure, Maddox therefore cancels Data's transfer, which means that we have a happy ending. It's even nice to see that Data is not being a dick to Maddox, uh, he even says that he should continue his research because Data finds his research intriguing. And Maddox starts to refer to Data as him and not it, as he did during the whole episode. And Data even has a scene with Riker where he shows him that uh, he's not mad at him. He understands that number one simply did what he had to. If you watch my mini reviews, if I can call them like that, of all of the episodes, you probably know that I usually complain about different things from each episode. A lot of the times I even nitpick a lot, but I haven't done this for this episode. Which probably tells you a lot about how I feel about it. I have one tiny little problem. It's way too dialogue heavy, and I think it should end up in the chord. I think that the scene with Data and Riker was absolutely not necessary. The story ended, so the final scene felt kind of inappropriate. The pacing of the aired version of the episode isn't also uh, the best, but the pacing issues are really not present in the extended version. So yes, no real complaints from me. I will give each version a separate rating, on my standard scale from 0 to 10, where 0 is complete garbage, 10 is a masterpiece, and 5 is just average, I would give the standard version 9 out of 10 and the extended version 10 out of 10. If you think I'm too generous, don't be afraid, my next video about the original series will be about the episode The Way to Eden and the next video about the next generation will be about the episode The Dolphin. And both of the ratings will be much, much lower. But as always, those were just my opinions. Let me know what do you think about this episode. Do you love it or hate it or think it's just average? Write your opinions down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and see you in a couple of days. 
with my video about the way to Eden. And trust me, I am not looking forward to watching that episode again. It's one of the episodes I always skip. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.